hello to everybody. Uh, today's session we continue by discussing about some more interesting points of in physics uh, that are very useful in uh, this developing world or in this developing app. So today's point is about electronic sensors. When we say sensor, let's start by defining what sensor is. A sensor can be defined as uh, an electronic device that is used to convert or to detect uh, physical parameters like heat, like noise, like crashes into electrical signals and then use those electrical signals into electronic system or electronic circuit. So by defining this I can refer on different examples of sensors we can use. So, we have different sensors in electronic devices. The reason why we need, want you to know how this sensor works perfectly. Let's start on this kind of sensor. This sensor is known as soil moisture sensor. Soil moisture sensor or moisture sensor, it is a sensor that is used to know or to detect the level of water. This can be used to detect the level of water. As we see, it has two electrodes. It can detect the level of water within tank. For example, in our home, when we have this in tank, when the tank is achieved, the level of tank is achieved, it can command, it can tell it to the system to displace or to remove water or to transfer water in another tank. Or it can command for example, in agriculture, when soil is dry, is dry, it can give command to release water within the soil. So it is very useful in agriculture. There is another sensor which is known as noise sensor. This noise sensor, we know that noise is measured in decibels. We know that decibels, it is an example of well, it is the unit of sound levels. So, when the level of sound is achieved, according to the program we have, this sensor will give command. For example, in our home, it can give command to close windows or doors or to open windows or doors automatically. This is a very important sensor we can know also. There is another example of sensor. This is known as crash sensor. Uh, this crash sensor is very important. It is very important because when we say crash, crash depends on the force applied on different or on the surface of material. When force is applied, this sensor can give command to the system. Then the information is done or is applied according to the programming system of our material. So when you touch on the window, when you touch on the surface of our body, this can be very important, this can be very helpful. So this kind of sensor is very important and we need it, we want to use it in our daily life because it is very important. I want you to know this kind of sensors because these are very important. So there is another sensor known as temperature sensor. This temperature sensor is almost used within our home, in staff, in different rooms. When the level of temperature is raised or is uh, uh, successful, this sensor is able to command, is able to tell uh, the fan within our house to rotate automatically according to the information given. So when the temperature set is increased, this sensor is able to automatically turn the fan. When the temperature decreases, the fan is also closed. This is also required as temperature set sensor. We shall know more to know how the sensors are able to work. The last three, I want to show you this kind of sensor. Uh, as we see, this sensor is known as a 
light sensor. This light sensor is able to detect the intensity of light within the room. In our home, at evening, when the temperature decreases, when the intensity of temperature is too low, it can tell the lamp to shine automatically. It can switch on and switch off the lamp according to the level of light. When the intensity of light decreases, this sensor is able to give command, then the light can give off, or when the light or the lamp can switch it off. So these are very important sensors we can use. Next time we shall see how we can apply these sensors, how we can use these sensors because they are very helpful in our daily life. Thank you so much. Thank you to follow us. We shall continue to see different points which are very applied in our daily life. I have many projects for you. Thank you so much for together. Science is very important. Let's learn science. Let's use our science. We shall achieve two more things we need to apply in our daily life. Thank you so much. See you next time.